Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we have the newest AEW DVD. We got Double or Nothing 2021 two disc set here and AEW has just been releasing DVDs out of nowhere. So it it seems like they finally have all their kind of distributors in order. You know, they're they're working closely of course with pro wrestling tees and whatnot. You know now they've had exclusive figures released and now they got their DVDs being released on a slightly consistent basis. So things are looking up for the AEW stuff. You know, I seen they released a tag team championship toy now. So look out for that if you're into the uh, toys and figures. So uh, I knew it was just a matter of time before they got the ball rolling. So here it is, AEW's Double or Nothing 2021. This would feature the Stadium Stampede 2 match. Uh... Not as good as the first one, of course, but, you know, Double or Nothing has become one of my favorite shows of the year. So we got Sting, Miro, Darby Allen, Scorpio, got Cody Rhodes, we got uh, Ogogo, Eddie Kingston, Dr. Britt Baker, we got the Young Bucks, Pack. I think Sheeta, right? Then we got Omega, Orange Cassidy, MJF, John Moxley, and Chris Jericho. This was May twenty or May thirtieth, twenty twenty one. This is a two disc set. So yeah, like I said, AEW has very good relationships with with all of their distributors. Of course, you know Pro Wrestling Tees is a you know I'm, I believe they are part part owners of that. So you know once they got the ball rolling with the DVDs and the other things, you know. It's just, you know, keeping up with the uh, demand and whatnot. So I'm, I'm very happy to see these. You know, there was no real announcements or anything. They just kind of appeared on their websites one day, and there you go. You know, they've released the first five at once, and then they released a, another batch. So here we are. I believe we got close to ten DVDs now. This is still sealed. Let's open her up. And take a look inside and then we'll run down the match listing so yeah here we have the disc art and whatnot interior artwork you know this is what i expect from a, a dvd set you know you don't have to have you know the craziest artwork but you know give us something here we have a, uh, you know just the logo we got like a poker table a dice table you know and you know it looks fairly decent so yeah I've, I, I've have not been a fan of the way WWE DVDs have looked for you know at least the past you know year or so and I'm a big fan of these two disc sets even their one disc digipacks I just I'm a big fan of it no real interior artwork just you know poker chips and whatnot the uh, casino floor so yeah really cool you know maybe now you know we'll see when all out happens if there's a dvd release you know within a month or so we'll see what happens so double or nothing very busy back here i wish they would have put more of this inside you know because this does come across fairly bland and it's very glossy so I'm guessing it's about a six-hour set. We got Brick, Britt Baker there. We got uh, Kenny Omega, Orange Cassidy, Sting and Darby, Hangman Adam Page. Uh, the women looks like uh, Serena Deeb, yeah, and Rio. So, uh, 
I'm going to get my years mixed up here because uh, I believe it was the year prior that uh, NWA started being involved in uh, AEW. Somewhere around uh, All Out, somewhere around that time period. Then we got uh, the monster there. Lance Archer. Got Christian, who was new to the company around this time. Got a lot of cool shots. Got Moxley, Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, Jericho. Let's run down it. So disc one was like the event, and then disc two, we got extras. So it might be closer to a four and a half to five hour disc set. So we got Sting and Darby Allen versus Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. Cody Rose versus Anthony Agogo. Hangman Adam Page versus Brian Cage. Then we had our Casino Battle Royal. Always love those matches. It seems like they always have a little different twist to them. Got the TNT ch Championship match. Miro defending against Lance Archer. AEW's World Tag Team title match. The Young Bucks versus Moxley and Kingston. We got our AEW Women's title match. Hakaru Shida versus Dr. Brick Baker. The AEW World title match. Triple Threat. Pac, Orange Cassidy versus Kenny Omega. And then Stadium Stampede 2. The Inner Circle versus the pinnacle extras include the buy-in which was uh nwa women's championship serena deeb versus rio we got a countdown to double or nothing and then aew unrestricted live from fan fest so this was like the first pay-per-view kind of back with full attendance and uh you know, kudos to them. They got the ball rolling quicker than uh, WWE did in returning to uh, live crowds and whatnot. Whether that's a, a detriment to to them or not, I I feel like it only made the company stronger, their product stronger. It uh, definitely did not hurt. You know, those those empty performance center shows, those Thunderdome shows. You know, they're not the greatest. Let's be real here. The wrestling just needs a, a live audience, a live reaction. And we got that here. And, you know, same with Money in the Bank. That was a hit. Double or nothing here. Uh, I'm going to give it a big thumbs up. I really like this, uh, this DVD set. So let me know your thoughts, guys. If you were able to pick these up, comment down below your favorite matches or moments from Double or Nothing 2021. So, yeah, we're all caught up with AEW DVDs. I do have to review a couple still. So, probably, you know, next week we'll start releasing those. Maybe one a week or, you know, get them all done at once. We'll see what happens. And, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the future of uh, AEW DVD releases. You know, they've, they've put together some really nice sets. So, let me know your thoughts, as always. We'll talk to you later. Peace.